Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019 National Treasures, 2021 TriStar Diamond Stars, Quick Hitter Baseball Mixer. This is Quick Hitter number two. Thanks to uh, all of these, so you got some nice stuff. Right. Oh, by the way, I'll explain this in just a second, but the college rules or no checklist rules apply. Big thanks to this group here for getting in on the action. I guess Kevin ends up getting the uh, official last spot Mojo Star next to his name. But thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats again to the people who won their spots. All teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize it. Two and a four, six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, Bennett down to Bennett. Two and a four, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we've got the Cardinals down to the Rangers. All right. Bennett Page with the Cardinals. Daniel O. Dan, you have the Astros. Stephen K with the O's. Eric with the Marlins, Jack with the Red Sox, Brian with the Brew Crew, Bennett with the Royals, Jonathan with the White Sox, Bennett with the Reds, Jimmy with the Nationals, Alan with the Braves, Kevin, last spot mojo, Padres. Brian with the A's, Mark with the Mariners, Bennett with the Diamondbacks, Brian with the Cubs, Kevin with the Yankees, Nick with the Pirates, Bennett with the Rays, Peter with the Giants. Kevin, you got my Dodgers, Bennett with the Mets, Will with the Phillies, Brian with the Twins, Will with the Angels. Oliver with the Tigers, Allen with the Indians, Terry with the Blue Jays, Eric with the Rockies, and Bennett with the Texas Rangers. Let's sort this by column B. So because that here, I'll flip back to that screen in just a second. There's no checklist for, for this sort of stuff. So if it's a retired player, it'll go to the team they played for the longest. And if it's uh, an active player, It'll go to the team that they're currently on. So a lot of potential great stuff here. If they played for the same team, and we'll go by baseballreference.com, and we'll go by seasons. If it's tied, we're going to use games as a tiebreaker. And then we'll just keep going to the right if there's continues to be ties. All right. I am going to give you a trade window, but let me do this randomizer, or we'll select a NT box first. We're gonna use that die. We'll go, we have box one, three, and four remaining. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it's one. So we're gonna do box one. These we'll save for next time. And the next version of that mixer, we can run it back. The next version of that mixer is up on the site right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, I'm gonna pause the video, give some people uh, some time to trade. When we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done. So the list you saw on the previous, uh, on, the, on the screen, remains the same. Here on Tuesday the 10th, 2021. Good luck, everybody. All right, uh, you know what? Let's start with the baseballs. Let's save the NT for last. Let's do the three baseballs first. Anyone here to play Who Am I, America's Favorite Game? I'll give you some clues. You can give me some answers. Got one of these little game show cards here. All right, Who Am I? Uh, I played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams my entire career, and I was an NL Rookie of the Year in 1989. Who am I? I don't think he has too many stats beyond that on this game show card. I guess maybe Rookie of the Year was his claim to fame. Did he play for that team the longest? Yeah, the team that drafted him. There you go. 
yeah, I was going to say Hollywood should probably know. 1989, Rookie of the Year for the Cubbies, Jerome Walton. Was a Rookie of the Year? What did he do that season? Hit 293, had a handful of home runs, 46 RBIs, 24 stolen bases. And beat out, who did he beat out for Rookie of the Year? Beat out Dwight Smith, another Cubby. Greg Jeffries, Derek L uh, Lilliquist, Andy Bennis, Charlie Hayes, and Greg Harris. There's autograph. There's the TriStar sticker on the back right there, and Brian M. with the Cubs. Got a nice ten year career. Doesn't really Wikipedia page doesn't really have much after that. Yeah, maybe at this point, yeah. All right. Next one is uh, ooh, he's a Hall of Famer. His number thirty five retired. Nine times in the top ten in home runs. A 1997 AL batting champion, a five-time All-Star, a four-time Silver Slugger. I think one of the few guys to win an MVP back-to-back, -back, two-time MVP back-to-back. -back. And most home runs ever hit by a DH, 261. There you go. Nice, Hollywood. That's for you. It's Frank Thomas, the big hurt. And trust me, she'll like it too. Yeah, Matthew's got it. Bennett's got it too. There it is, the Frank Thomas autograph, the TriStar Authenticity sticker on the back. Very nice. There you go. So both Chicago guys to start off. All right, and the third one. Good luck, everybody. Next one is, I guess they can't all be Hall of Famers, right? Um, the card says, played for three teams and then appeared in the 1961 World Series. That's all they got for this guy? Uh, oh, we got to do so. He only played for one, played for three teams, and each of those three teams a season each. So we have to do a tiebreaker. We're going to go by games, and he played the most games with Cincinnati, with the Cincinnati Reds. 24 games. Played 16 games with the Giants and eight games with the Mets. If you know Sherman Jones, I'd, I'll, I'll be impressed. But he did make an appearance in the 1961 World Series, for what, what for whatever that's worth. There's there's old 
Sherman Jones. Well, actually, no, I'll take that back. He actually wrote Mets on here, 62 Mets. There's the TriStar sticker right there. So we'll give it to the Mets. Old Sherman Jones with a lifetime 473 ERA. But I guess made an appearance in the World Series. All right, Bennett with the Mets. He had the Reds anyway. It's pretty rare that they actually put a team name on there. Usually we will default to the team name. Otherwise we'll go by our no checklist rules. Mixer number two. All right, those are the baseballs. <laughs> yeah, straight off the Wikipedia page. Like some intern was like, I don't want to do research on Sherman Jones. Yeah, I guess his autograph would be kind of hard to come by. He he got a he has a nickname, Sherman Jones nicknamed the Road Roadblock. Oh, actually went on to a career in Kansas politics. He appeared in game 5 of the 1961 World Series for the Reds against the New York Yankees, retiring Cleet Boyer and Bud Daly, the only two Yankees he faced. Yeah, after oh, there you go. After uh, after leaving baseball, he served in, in the Kansas City Police Department for 22 years and was later elected to the Kansas uh, legislature. Uh, serving the House of Representatives from 89 to 92 and the Senate until 2001. Hmm. There you go. All right, a box of 2019 Panini National Treasures. Wow, my apologies to Sherman Jones Will thing he looked he looked up looked it up only one of those Sherman Jones autographs on eBay and the seller's asking five hundred bucks. And we've got a fat box here. Is it a, there is a book, but it's just a regular book, just a lot of thick hits here. And a printing plate right there. You can see the, the shadow on the corner, the rounded corners. Telltale sign of a printing plate. All right. Put a blank card right on top of there. All right, let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. First one out of the gate is Garrett Hampson, 63 out of 99. Rockies, that's going to go to Eric C. We got Bryce Wilson, 46 out of 99 for Atlanta. Allen with the Braves. We got a Walker Bueller, 79 out of 99. Colossal Relic for the Dodgers. Kevin. We got a piece of Alan Trammell's bat, 23 out of 99. Tigers. That's for Oliver in Detroit. And the plate is Willie Keeler. Wow. One of one. We Willie Keeler. Yeah, was game used material for the Brooklyn Dodgers. 
Wow. It's kind of wild. Willie Keeler, I'm looking this up right now, was a two-time NL batting champion from 1890, in 1897 and 1898. Wow. That's crazy. He was born in Brooklyn in 1872, the son of William O'Keeler or o O'Keelehair Sr., a trolley switchman. He, he may have dodged some trolleys at some point for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Wow, that's, that's a, quite a piece of history there for Kevin and the Dodgers. You got the plate, got a piece of his game-used lumber. Yeah, Logan remembers. <laughs> Those were the good old days, right, Logan? When, uh, when Willie Keeler... Won the uh, NL batting title in 1897. Pretty nice. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Kevin, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. It's pretty cool. All right. Then we've got Larry Walker. Is he, did he try to autograph it this way? Jersey and autograph, tremendous material signatures. Oh, Larry Walker, 14 out of 25. And that is for Eric in Colorado. I think you try to sign it this way. The old, the old, the old sideways auto. I wonder if all of them are like that. Or if that was the only one where he's like, shoot. And you can't like undo it. All right, next one is is Christian Stewart, the baseball player, not the actress. 67 out of 99. Pretty thick card stock on that, too. Look at that. That is for Oliver and the Tigers. I don't know if that's going to even fit into a 180. We'll make sure we put a couple of filler cards in here, Oliver, so it doesn't rattle around. But that's for you, Oliver. All right, got a few more to go. There's Jason Giambi. Treasured material signatures, piece of his lumber, and autograph. That's how you're supposed to do it, Larry. And that'll be for Oakland, Brian M., And the next one is Jose Canseco, another one for Brian. 43 out of 99, big piece of his lumber and his autograph. And the last two, or no, this is the last one. It's the book. The book is Cut Signatures, Joe Sewell. One out of 10. That's pretty crazy as well. We got a couple old school guys in here. Nice. Cleveland, this is for you. And that is for Allen and the Indians. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think that's it. Excuse me, I just sneezed there. Sorry about that, folks. I had to sneeze. That is for you, Alan. That was the break. We've got another one of these four box breaks in the store with the other NT box, three more autographed baseballs, jazpiescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one.